In today's tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of creating a course in Masterio. For this, you must have the Masterio plugin and its e-learning theme installed and activated on your website. We have separate videos on both of these topics. So check them out if you need help with the installation process. After the installation is complete, hover on the Masterio menu in your WordPress dashboard and click on Courses. If you've installed the e-learning theme, it adds pre-built courses on your site. You can edit these courses as per your requirements. However, we'll teach you how to create a new course from scratch. So click on the Add New Course button. This takes you to the Course Builder. Here, add the course name, its description, and course highlights. You must also choose a category for the course. You can choose from one of the existing categories or create a new one. For now, let's use the WordPress category. After that, choose the featured image for the course. Finally, hit the next button at the top. With that, you've created your first course. Now, the next step is creating a section inside the course. The sections divide the content of your course into distinct parts. To create a new section, click the Add New Section button. Enter the section name and click Add. In this section, you must add content in the form of either lessons or quizzes. We'll cover the topic of building quizzes in another video tutorial. For now, let's look at the steps to create a lesson. Click on Add New Content and choose Add New Lesson. Here, enter the lesson name and description. Add a featured image next. Then, choose whether you want the lesson video to be self-hosted or hosted on YouTube or Vimeo. If you choose self-hosted from the drop-down, you need to upload your video. If you choose YouTube or Vimeo, you must provide the video source URL. After you're done, click the Add New Lesson button. This creates a new lesson inside the section Introduction. You can add as many lessons as you want to the section in a similar way. You can also add a new section for another part of the course. Then add lessons inside the new section. Masterio lets you edit the sections as well as lessons individually. With its simple drag and drop interface, you can also rearrange the sections and lessons as you build the course. When you finally have a complete course, go to Settings. From here, you can configure General, Display and Pricing settings for the course. Let's start with the General settings. Here, you can set the instructor as admin or any other instructors registered in your school. After that, choose the difficulty level from the drop-down. You can also define the duration of the course in hours and minutes. If you want to limit the number of students who enroll into this course, choose the limit option. Then enter the maximum number of students allowed to enroll. Next up, we have the display options. By default, Masterio displays all the curriculum your course has to every visitor. However, you can make it so that only enrolled students can see the curriculum. Besides that, Mastery lets you make the course free or paid. For the free course, you can choose whether students need registration to access it. And if the course is premium, you must set the one-time fee in the currency you've chosen during setup. You can easily change the currency from Mastery settings. 
Once the configuration is complete, hit the publish button. You can now preview the course you've just created to see how it looks in the front end. And there you have it. You've completed creating a new course from scratch and added sections and lessons to it.